Hi, my name's John, welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. If you're watching this, hopefully I'm travelling probably up the M18 somewhere on my way back home to Newcastle from the NEC in Birmingham after having hopefully a good weekend and getting lots and lots of film to edit for the next two or three weeks. Tonight's nightcap, uh, there's a couple of small jobs on, there's only one nightcap because I normally do my video work on a Friday and a Saturday and obviously I haven't been here on Friday and Saturday but I'm sure I'll enjoy what little bit that is. This battery powered Milwaukee angle grinder belongs to one of the lads at work and what's happened is it's damaged the threads, you had to force the, force the spin lot off and it won't, won't go back on. And I haven't got to dye that pitch, so I'm going to remove the gear and see if I can clean the threads up on the end. I would think they'll be able to buy a replacement gear for it, or a replacement shaft for it, I'm not sure. I'm going to take it apart, put it in the lathe and see if I can chase the threads. Sure how this all comes comes to bits because it's got like a friction plus type of fair on this guard. I'm going to take a device and have another take a device and have a closer look. Right, I've managed to get it apart. There's two arrows that line up and then it actually lifts off. There's springs and levers everywhere, but I'm sure I'll be able to get it back together. There's a little arrow on there and a little arrow on there. And when they were lined up like that, it all lines up and just lift it off. Well, in theory. It's a bit of quality guarantee there, nice o-ring. I don't need to take much more apart than that to be able to sort those threads out. There's all this grease in here but there's none at all on the on the gear. Put some better grease in when I put it back together. But it certainly is. And there's machine marks there, that's been machine out the solid, it's not just a casting. And these grinders aren't that expensive for what they are. Right, the pitch on this is 2 mil. I can cut 2 mil, so I think what I'll do, I'll set the, the lathe gearbox up to cut 2 mil and see if I can pick the threads up and just chase the threads just to clean them up. It's running nice and true in the lathe, it's also got a, a centre hole in so I can support it. And I've got a 2 mil screw cutting tool. Right, so that's a 2 mil screw cutting tool which is obviously a perfect fit in a 2 mil thread. What I need to do is start the lathe up in screw cutting mode and then stop it and I can loosen off the tool post and move that to line it up with the thread to pick the thread up. One end here is the lead screw once it gets on to a cool number which is there then I'm going to stop the lathe. So we need to adjust this until the tip of the tool is in there like that, wind it out, and start it up again and stop it, again and stop it and that is absolutely spot on there. So I zero the cross slide, I know exactly where I'm going. So we can take this back. Stop 
start the lathe up again right the feed nuts engaged there I'm not going to go full depth just yet. Nice. Right, so this time it should pick that thread up. And hopefully clean it up. And it did touch it. Well it's dramatically done the job. Right, so successfully pick the thread up and that screw cutting tool has survived to fight yet another day remarkably it was I thought it was an undercut there it's not right so happy with that I'm gonna take some of this grease out of here it's probably decent stuff but it's not doing anything because it's not on the actual gear and I've got some this royal purple grease which is really nice sticky stuff I'll put some of that in so it's actually on the gear and get some of that bush there I'll put some on the gear as well I do all my grinders with this grease and it quietens them down Remarkably, it's in amazing the difference it actually makes. Right. Get this back together now. I'm going to put a battery on here and just run that up just to make sure. Spot on. That goes right that, that goes right that. That pin goes into there. And then this. To go around to there, and the pin goes into there, and that drops down like that. And I think that is it. I'll get a couple of screws in before it starts to fly apart again. Right, it's looking not so bad now. Put a disc in it and give it a give it a try. What's happened with it? The disc being so thin, it's obviously he's caught that and you've been grinding something. working fine and the, the guard moves around and locks wherever you want it to be right 
Right Carl, maybe he'll stop moaning now about your grinder and I've only got your exhaust tool to repair. Anyway, I quite enjoyed doing that. A little bit of a puzzle, but now I know how to, to grow it together and I know how to work. I've got another manifold adapter plate the machine. I've shown quite a few of these. This one's different because I've got to put an O-ring groove in. The lad's actually done the drawing on the part, which is pretty good as long as I do it machine all the bits off, bits of the drawing off. I put my two rear earth magnets in just to act as standoffs. And I put the lathe, send that into there to hold it in the middle. A little bit of weight on. And we'll just nip it to open turn. This is going to get well, pretty well near centred. Just a little nip on each one. Right, I'll put a clock here, John, and see how near we've actually got it. And all I do, as you've seen plenty of times, is put another centre in there. Pick it up with that one. And I'll put a clock gauge on here and see how near the true it's running. Basically within five though. I'll bring the camera around so you can see it. And it's all I do is find the, the highest draw which is that one, put a little nip on it. Highest one again, which is that one. Right, should be sort of getting somewhere now, where it's all kind of nipped in place. I've all got a, a decent grip, which they have, and that's within half a thou, which is certainly good enough for a manifold adapter plate. There, yeah, that's just a old spot on, and that's in real time. That's how long it took me to set that up in that chuck, no time at all. I've got a little high speed steel parting tool blade in there which is dead on centre height and right in the middle of the job he wants his groove to be 75.5 so half of that is 37.75 so if I wind that out 35.75 I'll be able to machine the groove and then just tweak it a little bit each way to get it to be 3mm wide so I'll use my day or to measure that Thirty-five point seven five. I want to be careful that I've got enough clearance between the the lathe chuck jaws in the tool post because things are running pretty close. And you want this three mil way for the 3mm luring so it wants to be 1.5mm deep I'm actually watching this on the, the screen on the video camera right zero of that down for a depth of 1.5 I've got a lot of relief on the back of the tool
Right, the dimensions are off. That groove is in the wrong place. It should be a mill further out. Uh, so basically, I've knocked it. Um, I take it out and I'll weld it up. Weld that face up and remachine it. I think that's what I'll do anyway. Settle for that. It's going to get it decentered now and then start all over again. I think we're back on track now. but the weld metal never machines as good as the original stuff Once again, it's just time to see you. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes that keep coming in. Anyway, thanks for watching.